So I get asked all the time, where is the best place to look when you're buying a van? In today's video, I'm gonna tell you exactly where to look. So if you're new here, hit the subscribe button and let's get started. So the first thing I do when looking for a van, the first place I go is Auto Trader. It's the number one website I'd say in the UK for vans or cars, anything you wanna find. I'd always go to Auto Trader first just to see what the market is. So there's loads of filters on Auto Trader, but when I'm looking for a new van, what I'll do is I'll sort them by the highest mileage. So say, let's do a Volkswagen Cali Maxi, for example. I don't know why, I don't know why I do a Volkswagen Cali Maxi, but let's do that. I'm searching for a Volkswagen Cali Maxi, put the mileage to the highest at the top, and then I can see, say for example, they're gonna to run to 200, 300,000 miles. So now I know that if I'm gonna buy a vehicle, I can see what the mileage is and how long it's expected to go for. If I see that the top ones on all trade are 90,000 miles and I'm gonna buy one that's 85,000, I might be thinking, actually, I haven't really got much life left in this one, but most fans, you're looking at two, 300,000 miles. And then you've got to determine with your budget how much you wanna spend and what you want. So for me personally, I would never buy a van over 100,000 miles. I just wouldn't do it. I know a lot of people out there will, but that's just something I just, I might do in the future, but for me personally, I always want the lowest mileage van I can get for my budget. So again, it depends what budget you've got, but obviously I'm gonna set it to 100,000 miles at the maximum, and then work my way from there. So now, what I'm gonna do, I've set it to 100,000 miles, then I'm gonna set the year. Again, I typically look that a car, if it's over 10 years old, it's gonna need some work doing to it. So if I'm gonna buy a vehicle that's over 10 years old, you then gotta factor into your budget, it might need some major things doing it to it. So it might actually cost a few more thousand pounds on top of the purchase price that you've got. And obviously when you buy a van, you've got extra things you've got to pay for anyway, so you've got tax, insurance, maybe you've got to put service, might have to do a cam bat and wall pump. So it's not just the price of the van, you've got some extra you've got to put on, on top. So there you go, I've got 100,000 miles and I'm going to filter it to 10, 10 years old maximum. So we're in 2022, so the lowest I'll go on the age is 2012. Then obviously on search through the vans, an auto trader, like I said, is the best bet to look at. If there's nothing on auto trader and you're really struggling, what I would do is then look on Gumtree, do exactly the same steps on Gumtree. Gumtree is not the best because I don't feel like a lot of people actually use Gumtree. However, you can sometimes get some bargains on there because some people who just use Gumtree, a little bit like eBay, just use Gumtree and they might not be on the other sites as well. That's moving on to the next one, eBay. Typically, I don't really use eBay because they've taken away the filter of mileage and age and it's just, it's not that great. It used to be a lot better and I would use it. Now, I might have a quick look on eBay, but it's not my go-to place. But I'm not ruling that out. You look everywhere, eBay is still a good one. My next one I would say is Facebook. So Facebook can be really good. Facebook Marketplace, you just kind of have to scroll through with your area. Again, it depends how far you want to travel. If you're willing to travel all over the country, then that's fine. But obviously, if you're not going to willing to travel that far, you might get some deals next to you. And again, these would be more private sales, not trade sellers. You might get some bargains on Facebook because people just don't want to list it on Auto Trader because you have to pay to list on Auto Trader. So you might get some deals on there that you're not going to get on Auto Trader. Uh, Facebook is, is private sales. Like I said, you can sometimes not get a very good deal, but most times something good will come out of it. So what I like to do on Facebook as well, there's loads of groups and forums. So if you own, I don't know, a Transport T5, you can join Transport T5 group, and then you can post in there, hi guys, I'm looking for a van, you know, five years old, up to 50,000 miles, and budget's 10 grand, what's available? And then obviously people can comment what they've got available, and you can go from there. 